The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. Your visions will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. I am not what happened to me, I am what I choose to become. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life, and you will call it fate. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people. The pendulum of the mind oscillates between sense and nonsense, not between right and wrong. Every form of addiction is bad, no matter whether the narcotic be alcohol, morphine, or idealism. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. As a child I felt myself to be alone. And I am still, because I know things, and must hint at things which others apparently know nothing of, and for the most part do not want to know. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, to avoid facing their own souls. The most terrifying thing is to accept oneself completely. There's no coming to consciousness without pain. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. Show me a sane man, and I will cure him for you. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, in order to avoid facing their own souls. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. No tree, it is said, can grow to heaven unless its roots reach down to hell. In all chaos, there is a cosmos, in all disorder, a secret order. Mistakes are, after all, the foundations of truth, and if a man does not know what a thing is, it is at least an increase in knowledge if he knows what it is not. As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light of meaning in the darkness of mere being. Thinking is difficult. That's why most people judge. Whatever is rejected from the self appears in the world as an event. We cannot change anything unless we accept it. Where wisdom reigns, there is no conflict between thinking and feeling. How can I be substantial if I do not cast a shadow? I must have a dark side also if I am to be whole. The greatest tragedy of the family is the unlived lives of the parents. Where love rules, there is no will to power, and where power predominates, love is lacking. The one is the shadow of the other. The shoe that fits one person pinches another. There is no recipe for living that suits all cases. Through pride we are ever deceiving ourselves but deep down below the surface of the average conscience, a still, small voice says to us, something is out of tune. Shame is a soul-eating emotion. The creation of something new is not accomplished by the intellect, but by the play instinct acting from inner necessity. The creative mind plays with the objects it loves. The best political, social, and spiritual work we can do is to withdraw the projection of our shadow onto others. What you resist persists. To find out what is truly individual in ourselves, profound reflection is needed, and suddenly we realize how uncommonly difficult the discovery of individuality is. The first half of life is devoted to forming a healthy ego, the second half is going inward and letting go of it. About a third of my cases are suffering from no clinically definable neurosis, but from the senselessness and emptiness of their lives. This can be defined as the general neurosis of our times. Nothing has a stronger influence psychologically on their environment and especially on their children than the unlived life of the parent. 
The reason for evil in the world is that people are not able to tell their stories. Wholeness is not achieved by cutting off a portion of one's being, but by integration of the contraries. If there is anything that we wish to change in the child, we should first examine it and see whether it is not something that could better be changed in ourselves. Nights through dreams tell the myths forgotten by the day. Every human life contains a potential. If that potential is not fulfilled, then that life was wasted. Sensation tell us a thing is. Thinking tell us what it is this thing is. Feeling tells us what this thing is to us.